Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set yourself up so when the judge violates your rights and tosses you out of court, you will have on the record what you need for your appeal. I'm going to show you how to block the attorneys from participating in the foreclosure against your property. And when the judge ignores the court rules, you will be ready for your appeal. The purpose of this video is to show you how to control the court. In this video, you will learn how to take control of the court and where to get the legal documents you need to make it happen. Hey guys, my name is Guy Neighbors and I'm the Director of Advocates for Justice for Closure Defense Paralegal Service. We are different and we prove it. Check out my fancy award that they gave us in Channel Arizona for our excellence in foreclosure defense work. Pretty snazzy. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to get control of the court, subscribe and click the bell down below so you don't miss anything because we're about to get rolling. This video is part of a playlist entitled Tips and Strategies to Use in Court, and you'll find that on my YouTube channel. Um, I have several videos in there that actually give you tips and strategies you can use in court right now. So if you haven't looked at them, you might want to go check that playlist out. Now, make sure you watch the video to the end so you'll get the free tip of the day. The free tip of the day is very important. And that free tip of the day that I'm going to share with you guys at the end of the video will be a tip that you can use to move the court to dismiss your foreclosure today. Now, the problem we face in court is the conventional legal system was structured by the same attorneys that are, that are trying to steal your property. The legal system is structured so when the judge is ready to throw you out of court, you don't have anything on the record that you can use for an appeal. We're going to change that. This video will show you how to set yourself up for an appeal by forcing the judge to rule in contrast to the law and the court rule. Once the judge rules outside of the law or the court rules, then it's time for us to take action. Now, once he rules, you will have on the record what you need for your appeal. In my non-conventional foreclosure defense strategies, you will, will add the attorney who signed the document that was used to start the foreclosure against your property as a number one defendant on your lawsuit. You will list a law firm as the second defendant, and that will block the other attorneys from, from getting involved. We do this because the attorney is the only person who signed the foreclosure documents used to start the foreclosure against your property. And this is usually the biggest mistake most people make. They don't have the right person listed as the number one defendant. They don't even have the person who signed the document listed in their paperwork in most cases. But we're going to how to change that. The benefit of using this strategy is the attorney is not allowed to represent himself and the attorney cannot litigate a case they're a party to. And most people don't know this, but the attorney is also barred by court rules from representing the law firm that it's affiliated with, as that would be considered pro se representation, and that is prohibited by the court rules for a corporation to go into court representing itself. Once you have this strategy, you force the attorneys to hire outside counsel. The problem the attorneys have is it's clear to the new attorneys, the homeowner is aware of the scheme to defraud acting as a debt collector. Yeah, the attorneys are not working on behalf of the bank. They're actually working as debt collectors. For and this is the number two mistake that most people make. At this point, the new attorney disappears because they visualize the shared liability and want nothing to do with the, with the foreclosure attorney's illegal activity. The judge will have to allow the attorneys to proceed and violate the rules. When the attorney, who is a number one defendant, files a notice of appearance, you will file your demand to strike the notice of appearance because the rules prohibit the corporation from entering the court pro se. We must jump on the judge as soon as he or she violates your rights. Think about it. If they're allowed to violate your rights, and escape the rules, you're never gonna have any kind of a chance. They're making you follow the rules. I wonder why they don't wanna follow the rules. 
we must remember we cannot go into court expecting the judge to be fair and to help you because I have not seen that happen yet. We must hold anyone blocking you from having your day in court liable. If you have any questions about your legal situation, leave them in the comments section down below and I'll try to answer them for you. And remember, keep them short. I don't need the big giant, just a little short version. If you're facing foreclosure, let me know what the posture of your situation is and if you're still in your home. The free tip today is case law showing that mortgage assignments must have consent from all parties to be legal. And I'll leave this tip down below uh, in the comment section so you guys can copy and paste it and use it if you need to use it. This tip is the courts have decided as a general rule, all contracts are assignable. An exception to this rule is that contracts that rely on personal trust, confidence, skill, character, or credit of the parties may not be assigned without consent from all parties. See Crim Truck versus Tractor Company versus Navistar. And I will leave this case law, like I said, down below so you guys can copy and use it if you need to. So if you're ready to set yourself up for your appeal, head over to my website and make your investment into the wrongful foreclosure lawsuit package that you need and let's get rolling. My website is at winincourtnow.com or you can just give me a call if you have any more questions, Coach Neighbors. And my number is 913-240-0227. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.